After the meter has been programmed and a measurement has been taken, you can save the programming of a site to the PT878 flow meter. Press the menu button on the keypad and the main menu will appear at the top of the display screen. Use the left or right arrow keys on the keypad to scroll over and highlight the Site tab. With the Site menu tab highlighted, press the Enter button on the keypad. Select the Site Manager option in the drop-down menu and press the Enter button on the keypad. You may see other saved site files listed in the new drop-down menu that appears. Use the down arrow key to navigate down and highlight the site you want to be saved. With the site highlighted, press the menu button and that will highlight the file tab at the top of the display menu. Press the enter button on the keypad and a new drop-down menu appears. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to navigate down and highlight the Save As function. Press the Enter key on the keypad and a new screen will appear. This screen displays letters and numbers that allow you to create a name for your new saved site file. To name your site, use the arrow keys on the keypad to navigate to each letter and number that you would like to use to name your site. And when a letter or number is highlighted, press the Enter key on the keypad. To remove characters in the naming field from the previous saved site name, press the F1 button repeatedly, which corresponds to the delete selection on the bottom left of the display screen. After you have completed the name of your site file, press the F3 button which corresponds to the OK menu selection on the bottom of the display screen. A new requester menu will appear that asks if you want to save the current site and has the name of the site you chose previously in parentheses. Press the F3 button again which corresponds to the Yes option on the bottom of the display screen. After the file is saved, the display will return you to the file drop-down menu and you will see the new site file that you just saved in the drop-down menu. To exit the file menu drop-down, press the F3 button and that will return you to the main menu with the site tab highlighted. To load a different site file that has been previously created, with the site tab highlighted, press the Enter button. A drop-down menu appears and the first highlighted selection is the Site Manager. With the Site Manager selection highlighted, press the Enter button on the keypad. A new drop-down menu appears with saved site files. Use the up and down arrow keys on the keypad to highlight any site file you want to select. When you have the site file you want to load highlighted, press the menu button which will highlight the file tab at the top of the display screen. Press the enter button on the keypad and a new drop down menu window comes up with several options. Use the down arrow key to navigate to the open selection. With the open selection highlighted, press the enter button on the keypad. An open confirmation message request comes up asking if you are sure you want to open the site file you have selected. Press the F3 button on the keypad which corresponds to the Yes menu selection on the bottom right of the display screen to confirm that you want to open and load the site file that you chose. This brings the programming of the saved site file up so that you can use it for taking measurements at a specific site. Once the site is loaded, the display returns you back to the Site Manager menu. Press the F3 button on the keypad which corresponds to the exit selection at the bottom of the display screen. This will take you back to the main menu on the top of the display screen. Press the Escape key on the keypad to exit out of the menu on the top of the display screen.